So why go hardware at all? Why would OpenAI, a company built on software, sink billions into a physical device? The answer is simple, control. If you own the box, you own the experience. Just ask Apple or Microsoft. It's not cheap, but it's the only real way to build a moat around AI, especially now that every model is starting to look the same. So what do I think it'll look like? My bet will it'll be something that you can speak to, it'll hear you, and it'll see things around you. I've played with some tech that exists right now, like Omni and Rabbit R1, but neither have really stuck yet. Now this thing, if it is really unobtrusive and lives alongside your phone and laptop, it has to be more than just a gadget. It has to fit into your life without thinking about it. I even asked ChatGPT's image generation what it thinks this device could look like. What do you think? Well, honestly, none of these feel like the next iPhone, but maybe that's the point. So if they get it right, we might not think about using AI at all. It'll just be part of how we live. But for that to happen, they'll need to let the other AI models in or risk creating yet another walled garden no one wants. Am I being too skeptical or are we about to see a true shift in how we relate to technology? Let me know what you think. Would you want an AI companion on your desk or is this another Silicon Valley fever dream? Let me know in the comments and make sure you're following me on here and I'll see you later.